Hello, welcome back. Right, the purpose of this video, as you can see from the title, is just to go over another donation that's uh, been sent to me. This time it's a single game. It's been sent by Brian Dickinson. Um, Brian's an outstanding chap. He's um, sent me a few things now, um, and he's never um, required any payment for any of them. I'm incredibly grateful for his um, generosity that he's shown um, over the last few months. Absolute top bloke. Um, he's an Everton fan. 5-1! <coughs> um... And, you know, like I said, really, really great bloke. Now, this has come about by the fact that um, on a recent flick through of Crash Magazine that I did, came across a particular game and an advert for um, another game, etc. And Brian contacted me on Facebook to say that um, he'd had a copy of uh, this particular game and he would send it to me for free. And it arrived today. I've had a quick play of it. So let's get it loading, um, ready to go. And then once it's loaded... Uh, we'll go into the game itself and see um, what it's like. The game is Star Paws by um, Software Projects, um, which was released in 1987. Um, I'm loading it up in uh, 128K. Um, it's either 48K or 128. Um, so first things first is I want to know what your memories of this game are, if you have any. Now, as I understand it, I've not researched this much at all. Um, this is just going from what's um, in my head memory wise, so it might be wrong. If I am wrong in anything that I say in the next coming uh, minutes, then please correct me. Um, I believe Star Paws is the leftovers or are, you know, the remains of the Matthew Smith game at the time that was heavily advertised in the press called Attack of the Mutant Zombie Flesh Eating Chickens from Mars. Which, like I said, was advertised um, several, several times. Um, but never actually saw release. So, it's a game I'm not familiar with at all. So, I would like your um, recollections and your memories of it. Do you like it? Do you loathe it? Etc. Also, do you like this way of uh, doing stuff? Or do you prefer the videos just to start with the game already loaded up and you don't want to see my big fat ugly face um, staring at the screen at you, yakking away for minutes at a time? Now, um, Matthew Smith, of course, you know... Um, Responsible for Sticks, Manic Miner, Jet Set Willy. I think those are the only games he um, ever sort of programmed. And then he kind of disappeared for a lot. Oh, let's just turn my phone on to mute. I'm always forgetting to do that. Um, yeah, then he sort of like disappeared and there was the whole sort of where is Matthew Smith thing. And he's resurfaced a couple of times um, over the last decade and a bit in various documentaries, etc. The last thing I've... Um, seen him on was the Bedrooms to Billions documentary which was um, an absolutely uh, fantastic documentary about the sort of growth of the 8-bit um, scene in um, Britain, the Spectrum, the Commodore 64, the BBC, everything, absolutely fantastic documentary. If you can get hold of it, please do. It was available on Netflix, um, the UK Netflix, up until um, a few months back. Then it seems to have disappeared. I did buy it and I've got it um, downloaded on, on one of the laptops. If you can check that documentary out, please, please, please do. Um, it's very worthwhile. Um, and also, if you have seen it, what are your um, impressions of it, etc.? Did you like it? Did you um, loathe it? Did you think there was more things um, that could have been included, etc.? For me, I thought it was perfect seeing some sort of names and faces from back in the day Talking about stuff, um, it was a real eye-opener, seeing all these um, wonderful, wonderful programmers um, talking about, you know, their time um, before, during and after um, the sort of, uh, the home bit, the home bit micro, that's not even English, the home micro um, sort of boom in the 80s uh, with the Spectrum, Commodore, Amstrad, etc., so, as you can see, we've now got Star Paws loading. It says the Spectrum version is by Software Creations, by S Cork. It's got about a minute uh, and 15 left, so that means I've got a rabbit for about another minute and a half. Um, then we get into the game itself. Now, like I said, I'm trying to sort of like do things a little bit differently. Um, you know, sometimes they sort of just point the camera at the screen. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. It works. Not going to do anything flashy titles wise etc but i just want to know if um people think this is a pointless um exercise doing this sort of like a preamble whilst uh, a game loads now obviously some games take an age to load and uh, 
that would put you off. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer to straight into the video or is this something that actually works? Um, let me know because this is the first, uh, first time I've done this. And if it's successful, then I'll keep it. If not, then I've not, not lost anything by trying. Okay, so are there any particular games um, that you would like to see featured on the channel? Um, I'm sort of stuck with games that I actually own, but if, um, if I can get hold of uh, an MP3 file, etc., that I can play uh, through my cassette converter, then I'm quite happy to do things that way too. Right, I need to just press space there to get that going all flashy and etc, etc. Right, so, going to dive into the review of Star Paws. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, welcome back. Right, as you can see, Star Paws has loaded. You can hear that I'm playing the 128K version because it's got this really nice um, tune playing on it. The 48K version doesn't seem to have any music at all, just spot effects in it. Um, right, so what I'm going to do first is uh, redefine my keys. Q-A-O-P-M for fire, exit. Now the aim of this game is you play Rover Paw Strong, a space dog, and um, you've got a, uh, you've been sent to the surface of a planet or crashed on it or something like that. I did read it, I've forgotten what it said. Um, and you have to hunt um, space chick space griffins, which are like uh, giant road runners. This game is a bit wily e. coyote and road runner e in its style. And in order to do so, you can either jump on them or you can use a variety of weapons scattered about the landscape. Now the controls are Q A O P, as you saw, and fire. Fire when I haven't got any kind of weapon equipped uh, either makes me jump straight up in the air if I sort of do that or whatever. Um, or it makes me dive, which is quite a nice little an animation. Now if I stand near these boxes, I find all the various um, weapons I can use. Those little holes there, just in front of me, I don't want to go down them until i found a mining lamp in one of these um, thingamies. So, uh, uh. oh, I've caught a bird already. There we go. Now you get a variety of things you can use, death rays, rocket launchers, etc. And they're all um, quite fun to use, especially when you <laughs> you successfully manage to splat a griffin. Really is good. A space burger is um, food. If I select that by pressing A, you can see I've just eaten that. Now that chicken in the bottom right hand corner is your health uh, meter as per um, attic attack etc. In the bottom right hand corner you've got, um, ah, come on. Oh, I killed another one with a death ray. You've got a sort of map which shows you where um, a bird might be. Now, um, as I think I asked in the um, intro video, if you know this game, please let me know what you thought of it. Did you like it? Did you loathe it? Let's go. Have I got a mining lamp? Yes, I have. Um, let me know what you thought of it, whether you liked it, whether you loathed it, whether you hated it, etc. Now, the controls are a bit fiddly. There's kind of like an inertia thing going on here. Now, I'm in the mines. That bottom right-hand corner, you'll see there's a yellow bar going down. That's the light of the mining lamp, which I need to replenish. Um, oh, I've caught another one um, by collecting the little lamps as such. Ah, come here. Come, 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 come. Ah. There we go. And those baskets of food are, of course, baskets of food. So if I want to go up or down, I've got to press fire and um, either up or down. Uh, so I'm in a different level of the mines. I believe there's only four of these birds to be found in the mines. Ah! Now, is it good or is it bad? Well, it's definitely not bad. Um, and it was quite fun sort of learning um, the sort of vagaries of the control system. It's... Oh, a bit slow down in the music there. It's um, frustrating at times, the controls, um, you know, sometimes you can be wanting to select a weapon to sort of like take something out and it doesn't quite work. Ah! Um, but, yeah, it's quite fun. Um, there is um, a good amount of humour in the game um, to be had, well I find, 
especially when you, for the first time, you take uh, one out using the rocket launcher, sort of Death Wish 3 style. That's quite fun. I did enjoy that. Can I go up from there? I want to go back to the surface. I'm sort of bored in the mines now. Ah! Bastard thing. Oh, well, fucking assholes. Sorry about the uh, language. Ah! Come here! <laughs> Not a bad game at all. Um, quite a lot of frustration in it, but um, also quite a lot of fun to be had. Now, that bonus puzzle thing gives you like one of those slidey puzzle sort of things, which um, I've never sort of managed to complete on it. Stay there. Oh, I didn't want him to run there. I wanted him to stand still so I could... <coughs> oh, excuse me. We oh, I've got a space rocket. I thought that was a rocket launcher. Oh, right, okay. Oh, that's quite fun. But I can't actually do anything. Oh, yes, I can. Uh, come here. Now, you can outrun a rocket, can you, bird? Right, okay. <coughs> Whoa. What's in here? Oh, f how the f Bloody hell. Has so I got the launcher again? Which is the rocket launcher. Hey! Right in the head. Okay, folks, that is Star Paws very, very quickly. <coughs> There's a, quite a lot to enjoy about that game. If you haven't tried it, I suggest you check it out. It does take a while to get used to the controls, etc. But if you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. If you are going to subscribe, please, please, please take the time to join in the discussions. That's what it's all about. Now, I do have another channel, Bazza H 20 I keep forgetting to link videos um, to it on this one. If you want to go and see... Um, a couple of Commodore 64 videos, then they are the links to them are in the description box below. Please, please, please pop over there. If you like what you see on the channel, it's more or less the same thing as you get here, but just um, different systems, etc. Then please, please, please subscribe to that one too. Right, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.